All right, guys, I'm going to be just straight and blunt with you guys right now. Buying a keyboard is extremely difficult. I absolutely hate the process of trying to find a new keyboard. And let me explain to you real quickly why. This was my main keyboard over the last three years. This is the Black Widow Elite by Razer. And as you can see, I got rid of some of the keycaps. Long story short was that the volume rocker gave out a couple months ago, but I didn't really care too much about it. But then some of the keys started to go out. They weren't registering properly, or if I even press it one time, then it would just continuously uh, register that same press over and over and over again. And it was just very annoying. I cleaned them multiple times. I tried to see what was going on with the switches, but it just wasn't doing me justice. So then I got rid of this and I went to my backup keyboard, which is the One Too Mini by Ducky. This was a collaboration that they did with HyperX. This is actually one of 6,500 uh, keyboards made for this special collaboration. So then I took some of the keycaps that were from my uh, Razer keyboard and I put it into this one. As you can see, it has like the Phantom keycap, so you can't really see the keys during the day unless it actually lights up or and i kind of like that stealthy look so this has been my actual keyboard of choice over the last couple of weeks because i just gave up on this but i also knew that this was not going to be my keyboard of choice in the long term because i just cannot deal with the simple fact that i am missing a lot of important keys on a 65 percent keyboard mainly to be honest it would be the delete key and sometimes the arrow keys, especially when I'm trying to get into the BIOS of computers and trying to figure out what's going on there, this 60% keyboard just does not do me justice. And unfortunately, I am really bad at trying to figure out what keyboard works for me. So I even went to stores like Best Buy, Micro Center. I play with a lot of keyboards and it's really hard to actually go out and figure out what keyboard is best for you only because there's so many kinds of switches, uh, keycaps, form factors, connectivity. There's just so many factors that go into it. So I went to a very unlikely source to help me figure out what keyboard will work best for me. And luckily my friends at Cooler Master were right to the call and they sent me not one keyboard, not two keyboards, but three different kinds of keyboards for me to check out and test out and to help me finalize my buying decision of what keyboard I should end up going. Spoiler alert, I think this is the one. First, we have the Cooler Master SK653 and 652. These are full-size keyboards with a couple of hidden features. First, the SK652 comes in wired only, while the 653 has three different connectivity modes, wired, wireless 2.4 gigahertz, and Bluetooth. Apart from the connectivity differences, everything else about these two keyboards are pretty much the same. You can get them in either red, blue, or brown switches, and they are low profile switches with low profile keycaps, which give them a very unique feel to them. If you are aware of the Logitech G915 keyboard, then essentially this is Cooler Master's version of that keyboard. The low profile style does take some time getting used to because it feels more like a membrane keyboard. But after some time, it feels like you get to type faster with this. One thing I'm not a big fan of is the sound that the keys make when pressing. The switches feel fine, but the sound feels very mushy, and the stabilizers of the spacebar leave much to be desired. Maybe it's just me, as I am not the biggest expert on switches and keycaps, but I am not too fond of the way it sounds. Most of the keys sound fine, but that spacebar is very annoying with that noticeable ping. The RGB of these boards are nice, not too bright and no bleeding, which is nice to see. The Master Plus software is decent. I wouldn't say it's revolutionary, but it's basic enough for you to customize it to your liking. I know that Cooler Master has tailored these keyboards towards all aspects of users, whether it's gamers or creative professionals. I honestly feel like that these two keyboards offer a unique sense of use, which some might find exciting and others not. 
Personally, I love full-size keyboards, but coming from years of using traditional mechanical keyboards, I don't fully see myself diving into the style as of yet. Which leads me to the one keyboard that I've been anticipating that I might actually enjoy from the get-go, the CK721. This is a 65% size keyboard with a dial on the top right and an included wrist rest. This is also like the SK653 with the three available connectivity options and three switch types to choose from. I personally love the size because not only am I getting a compact size keyboard, but I still have the keys that are important to me like the delete key and the arrow keys, which makes navigating the BIOS that much more seamless for those specific times that I need to access it. The keyboard does look beautiful in my opinion with that brushed metal finish, the matching dial, and the looks of the keycaps. They are ABS painted keycaps, which some of you might not like, but I've grown to get used to it, although I might replace them soon. Although you cannot swap the switches, you can replace the aluminum faceplate with other options, which Cooler Master says it will release soon, which adds to the overall custom aesthetic of the board. The keycaps do sound pretty good, with a much lower ping feedback as compared to the SK53. I like the way it sounds, but I will dampen the sound a bit more, which you should subscribe so I can show you how I do that. But overall, it sounds nice and it isn't as loud as you think. Finally, the RGB looks really nice. Better than the SK653 because the base of the keyboard is white, so it makes the colors pop, which also perfectly diffuses across the entire board. It's a very capable looking and feeling keyboard and I'm glad that Cooler Master allowed me to check this one out for sure. All right guys, so after a long deliberation, or not long per se, I have finally decided to stick with the CK21 by Cooler Master. I think this is the perfect blend for me, only because not only I still get that 65% form factor, which by the way, it's like slightly bigger than the original 65% of the one too many, it's slightly bigger, but I still get that same form factor with these extra keys, the delete key, the arrow keys, I do get a very nice knob at the top and the keys sound absolutely fantastic. Now stay tuned, stay subscribed, because I'm gonna show you guys a very key trick to making your key sound way better and all you gotta do is spend like eight or 10 bucks on it. But this is the keyboard for me. It has all the functionality, wired, wireless. It has all the keys that I need. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It feels very premium, especially with that nice uh, face plate cover here on top. And you can customize it over time if you wish to do so. Not just obviously the keycaps and the switches of that nature, but obviously the faceplate if you wish to do so. Now that's obviously extra cost. And I think that for the price, I think this goes for about 100 to $120. This is not a bad buy. The thing is, Cooler Master really isn't known for keyboards or for gaming mice. You know, they're really into the market when it comes to PC cases. Uh, and especially CPU coolers and a whole a bunch of other RGB accessories. They have been in the peripheral market for such a long time and they make way more than just peripherals. You can go into the website, you can see a whole bunch of desks, chairs, monitors, just a whole bunch of things that they make outside of PC components where you're like, oh wow, these guys are actually into the game way more than we realize. So I'm very glad that Cooler Master was able to send me these things so I can show them to you because I know that the peripheral market is extremely crowded. There are dozens of manufacturers that make peripherals, but Cooler Master has been in the game for a very long time, and I just feel like they deserve to get a little bit more acknowledgement in regards to this specific market. So I am sticking with the CK21. I think that if you guys were to go out and purchase this one for yourself, the just the functionality, the performance, the looks, everything of it, for the price, I definitely think it's extremely competitive and you can definitely probably find other ones that are slightly cheaper but i just feel like that you're going to get that cooler master stamp of approval when it comes to this so thank you cooler master this is going to be my keyboard of choice 
I want to appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.